One for me. And one for you. Is this cringy or is this cringy? There we go. <laughs> Cheers! Aw, oh, yeah. Hey, you didn't stare at me, or else you get seven years bad luck. Okay, all jokes aside, Merry Christmas, you guys. Merry Christmas Eve. So I thought to be a little bit more festive on the channel, I would do a little Christmas Eve mukbang. I wanted to post this for any of you guys that are having Christmas alone, or if you don't have your Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve and you meet up with your family on Christmas Day, then you can just spend it with me. So I'm gonna be eating a very non-traditional Christmas Eve dinner because I'm actually eating this the day before Christmas Eve. I mean, I live alone, I can do whatever I want, but I like to have a traditional Christmas dinner. I am gonna be eating some McDonald's. So I got some fries. I actually got myself two things of fries because I was feeling like I was gonna be really hungry. I ate them on the way here. I got some veggie dippers, vegetable deluxe burger, and some cheese melt. And I got a lot of dips. I got sweet and sour, sweet and sour, sweet and sour, sweet and sour, sweet and sour. Oh my God, they gave me so many. Usually they give you nothing and then it makes you not wanna eat it anymore. Plus I got a tangy dipping sauce for the melt. This looks so good. Mm. Oh. These are weird. These are the cheese melt dippers. What it looks like, it has Kellogg flakes on it. Can you guys see that? And of course, my frites. My frites. Mmm, that's a weird fry. It has green on it. I love this camera that you can just, you don't have to do the beauty YouTuber thing where you go like this, it's just automatically focus. <laughs> Watch it keep me out of focus the whole time now that I said that. Oh, you know what I should put on? My Christmas hat. Okay, let's start the mukbang. Um, where's my phone? Oh, there it is. So I'm gonna go through and just like talk about things that you guys asked me on Instagram. So thank you guys for sending those in. Before I get started, I just wanna try these Kellogg Flake mozzarella sticks. Mmm. And these are really good. It like adds a, a crunch to it. Mmm. This is so good. I'm just gonna take the sweet and sour sauce and just dip my burger in there. I just feel like I can't eat a McDonald's burger without dipping in. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Okay, so the very first question that someone asked is, what are your favorite holiday movies or shows? I feel like my favorite holiday movies change every single year. And I think this year, my favorite is Claws. I watched that for the first time last year. I think it came out last year. I don't remember, but if you haven't watched that, it is just such a good movie. It's on Netflix and it's amazing. Um, so I'd say that one is probably my favorite right now. I really love It's a Wonderful Life and another one. I really like Christmas Chronicles, Santa Claus. Oh. What are your Christmas New Year's meal plans? I'll show it in my vlog that's coming out tomorrow. So you guys are gonna be seeing this on Christmas Eve and then I'm posting another vlog on Christmas day. So for Christmas, I'm gonna be having like a traditional British vegetarianized meal. I'm gonna be having mash pigs and blankets, which are my favorite things ever. Pigs and blanket are these sausages wrapped in bacon. So I'm gonna try to make my own. I got like some veggie substitutes. Brussels sprouts, gravy, Yorkshire pudding, stuffing. For New Year's, I don't really know what I'm gonna be having. I'm probably just gonna get takeaway. 
But yeah, let me know what you guys are having. I'm really interested. Like, let me know where you're from and what is like a traditional Christmas dinner for you guys. Christmas alone ideas. Because this is now my second Christmas alone. I feel like I'm a little bit more experienced with this. But I would say try to get yourself in the Christmas mood. You know, put up your Christmas tree. Treat yourself to like a really beautiful dinner. And make plans to talk to your family and friends. Watching Christmas movies and things like that. Because... If you don't, then it just feels a little bit depressing not to do anything, you know? Like, I don't have to do anything because I'm alone and no one's here, but I'm still gonna try to make the most of it, you know? Because I love Christmas. Christmas is my favorite time of year, and yeah. Mm. So the next question that I got was, how are you adjusting to your new home? So I'd say I'm adjusting pretty well. I definitely found it a little bit of a struggle when my granddad left and like I was alone but there's something about living here living in the countryside is just so calming like you either have a personality for thriving in the city or you don't and I definitely don't have that personality I love visiting the city like when I'm on holiday or like for day trips and stuff but living in a big city it's just really not my thing. Like whenever I'm in the city, I just feel very overwhelmed by all of the stimuli around me, which sounds really weird, but like I started developing really bad anxiety issues when I moved out on my own. I normally will wake up with this really bad gut-wrenching feeling like something bad is gonna happen. And since I've been living here, I don't have that feeling anymore. Like I just wake up and I just feel so calm and so happy and so relaxed. And I think maybe it's a combination of living somewhere that I really love and also having this new independence of having a car. It's so beautiful around here. Like I cannot wait to show you guys and give you a little tour. I'm gonna do that actually tomorrow. I'm gonna do like a little country walk and I'm gonna show you guys all the little Christmas lights around here. But it's just like, even the people here are so much friendlier. Like people, when they walk by you, they smile at you, they say hello. Like the drivers here are so courteous. It's just a totally different vibe and I just freaking love it. What are your goals for 2022 and the favorite things that you achieved in 2021? By the way, you haven't drank any of your wine. If you're not gonna drink it, I'll drink it. Rude, poured this just for you. So my goals for 2022, by the end of 2022, I wanna be volunteering somewhere with reptiles. That is my goal. I also wanna be able to qualify to get into the master's program. And I also want to continue to grow my YouTube channel, uh, learn to embrace myself a little bit more and be more comfortable with myself and eat more vegan. I don't know if I'd ever be vegan, but I've been watching too many documentaries. Just factory farming is just so messed up. And my favorite things I achieved in 2021, was finishing my first year of school. Someone asked, knowing your worth, I need a peep talk girl. Girl, me freaking too. It's so important to understand that you are worthy because it really dictates your life and how people treat you. People are rude to you and they treat you like shit. That's because you have let them know that you don't value yourself and you are okay with being treated like shit. Like that is something that it's taken me a really long time to understand. is is when you carry yourself knowing that you're worthy of being treated a certain way and you create boundaries people can instinctively pick up on it and they will not push or test you you know what i mean because if people can sense that you're kind of wishy-washy even good people that don't intention like that don't mean to walk all over you it's just like a natural thing where people will test how far they can push someone or test how far they can ask for help or do you know what I mean? Not everyone is like that, but most people are. I think it's important to remember, no matter what position they are in life, if they're a CEO, a billionaire, a garbage man, a post office delivery person, everyone is the same. No one is better than anyone. No one knows more than you. I mean, that's not what I said to you. Obviously, some people know more than you at certain things, but like people aren't 
better than you. Um, so you have to realize that you're worth just as much as anyone. Do you believe in conspiracy theories? I am so glad you said that because I feel like recently I've just kind of either I've gone insane from living alone but sometimes I'm just like are we in assimilation? Like if there is a god and we really have a purpose in life and everything happens for a reason why is that? Is it because we're in a video game? Are we like the sims? Even though time is passing really slowly for us it's only passing for like a couple seconds for those people do you know what I mean? Is that gonna sound crazy? That's probably gonna sound crazy. It trips me out too that we're like so like light years away from other planets that look like they could be able to hold life. Like, I don't know. It's just weird. It, it kind of trips me out. I don't like to think about it. Obviously, I don't really think we're in assimilation, but when I just start thinking about life and just how small we are, it really trips me out. Self, don't be tipsy and light a candle. I literally came over here to refill my ketchup and I almost burned my hair on fire because it was over top of the candle. Next, Q. Someone said, did you imagine you would be where you are at 18? Absolutely not. When I was 18, I imagined myself at 24, so like two years ago, I imagined that I would be married, I would have a kid, I would have my life figured out at the top of my career, or whatever I was doing, and never in a million freaking years would I imagine that I would be living up north in the UK going to school here. That has never been the plan and it still shocks me just how life works that's just weird that like you can sometimes make plans for yourself but the universe is like no or the simulation is like nope i already had plans for you girl i already have plans someone said how much have you changed as a person like from when you first moved to the uk to now i mean i may as well ask you guys do i seem like a different person because i definitely feel like a different person cool anxiety feeling like you're behind something like this if you really feel like you're behind in life, just literally Google Oprah Winfrey. Look up Oprah Winfrey, look up JK Rowling, and you'll know that you do not have to be a certain age to find success in life. Like, it'll just, it's just gonna come. If that's what you're meant to do, it's gonna come. Someone said, was it hard to win to drive on the opposite side of the road? Yes, it is like so weird. It's not weird being on the left side of the road, but being on the right side of the car, like having the steering wheel being on the right side rather than the left, because when you're on the right side, you have to position yourself differently on the road, which kind of just trips me out. Because normally when I drive, I center myself to the left, like a little bit to the middle, but to the left. But when I'm driving, in England, I have to position myself in the middle but to the right and it just like trips me out. Like sometimes I feel like I'm gonna accidentally smash into the side of the road because I'm just used to being on the left side of the lane. Do you know what I mean? I tried to tell my grandparents about it but they're like, I don't understand. <laughs> Who are some of your favorite musical artists right now? Beyonce Forever. Ariana Grande forever, Nicki Minaj forever. I'm really loving Adele. I normally do not like slow music like that, but I just literally love her new album. I just think it's amazing. Ooh, this is a good question. Were you ever scared of stage before working with them? Yes. I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret that I've never wanted to admit, but I was scared when I first started volunteering at the reptile rescue because snakes are so... When you don't know anything about them, they can seem very unpredictable because they're literally these little noodles with a head and they don't have eyelids so they don't blink. So all of their body language comes from the way they position themselves or the way their tongue flicks. And when you don't really know snakes that well, it can be very overwhelming and it, and it differs from species to species. So even though one species of snake can communicate something in a certain way that same behavior will be really different in a different species and 
it just really freaked me out because the first time that I worked with them, I just literally thought I was going to get bit all the time. But yeah, I'm not scared of snakes anymore. I don't view them as like unpredictable like I used to. I just think snakes are very cute and I just want to be able to show that to people because I just think people don't really see that and yeah. Being scared of something comes from not understanding them and when I didn't understand snakes, I was scared of them even though I really liked them. But like through, oh and especially when I got bit, like actually got bit, I was a little bit nervous afterwards. But now I'm really confident in my ability to read snakes and I'm not scared of them anymore. Same with Carl's food. Girl, I was so scared of feeding Carl bugs. Like the bugs that I feed Carl used to disgust me so much. But since I've had them, like they're not scary to me anymore. And like they're actually kind of cute in their own way. Like, I think everything is beautiful and cute, like, just not everyone sees it, you know? I think being in, in isolation with these animals <laughs> and, their, and their food has made me realize that. Ooh, advice for leaving your hometown. What, what have you learned about it, Mary Xmas? Okay, um, advice. That's really, really hard. Um... I don't know how to answer that question. I just know that like some people love where they're born and then other people just don't. Like I just have always had that adventurous streak in me where I just wanted to get out of Vancouver. I wanted to explore the world. Whereas some people are really comfortable with where they live and they don't want to. Um, so I think if you're one of those people that has that wanderlust, and you really need to get out. You need to try it, like get a year visa or working holiday visa somewhere and just like try it and yeah. Love life updates. Nope, nothing going on here, girl. Nothing going on here. So I think that is all the questions that I have. I've completely finished my food. I haven't even had like Coca-Cola. I've been too busy drinking my wine. Ew, who says Coca-Cola? Did I just say Coca-Cola? I need a dessert. Hold up. So I'm gonna have a Christmassy dessert and I'm gonna have this Cadbury mini Yule Logs. These are so good. I think this is the thing that I tried to make tipsy a couple Christmases ago. They're actually really freaking good. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna end the video here because I need to put Carl to bed, it's 8 o'clock. I need to start editing this video so that you guys see it tomorrow for Christmas Eve. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me for Christmas Eve. I hope that whatever you plan to do, you just get everything that you ever dreamed of. You'll get it and you deserve it, you know? We've all been going through a lot these last two years and I just can't wait for like our Gatsby era to start, you know? When the pandemic's over and we just go crazy and just go partying, I'm gonna knock on wood because I'm really gonna jinx it for us. But I'm just, I'm hoping that that time comes where we don't have to worry about the pandemic and we can just live and chill. But yeah, anyways, I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow for my last Vlogmas. Bye!